What's going on boys and girls? Welcome back to another VVD video. First of all, my apologies for the terrible lighting on the green screen. You may see some graininess throughout this video. Can't do anything about it till I get some better lighting. So if you're wondering why a Tennessee fan has Marshall stuff flashing behind him, allow me to explain it to you. If you haven't seen the movie We Are Marshall, you need to. It will definitely explain this a lot better than I can. But allow me to explain. In 1970, after a football game in Greenville, North Carolina with Marshall and ECU, the Marshall team was on their flight back to Huntington when just outside of Huntington, just outside of the Tri-State Airport as they were making their approach, they crashed into a hillside, killing everyone aboard the flight. There were 37 players, 8 coaches, 25 boosters, and 5 flight team on that. Well, there's supposed to be at least one other person on that flight that night, that being my step-grandfather, who was a huge booster of Marshall. His wife was sick that weekend. He decided not to make the trip, and as a result, he averted that plane crash. There were also a couple other players, I think, that decided to stay home that weekend. So there were actually a few people that um, actually avoided dying that night, and can't even imagine what had to go through their heads, you know. And, and part of that's detailed in the movie We Are Marshall. Um, also, tying all of this in for me is the fact that one of my Greenville High School Green Devils, Chris Everhart, uh, has signed to play football at Marshall. Got a lot of history. There's Chris right there. Got a lot of history with the Huntington and Marshall and just, I've always had a great respect and love for the Thundering Herd program, even as a Tennessee fan. Uh, actually, my mother's actually buried in Huntington. And uh, so, again, a lot of ties to Huntington and the great people up there and Marshall. So they're going to play a football game again this year between ECU and Marshall. The game was originally scheduled to be played on September 5th. The NCAA has approved for them to move the game up a week earlier to August 29th to commemorate the 50th anniversary of this tragedy. It's my hope to get to go to that game uh, for several reasons, but one, to watch my boy Chris Everhart suit up for his first ever Marshall game, um, get over to North Carolina and see some friends over there, and uh, just to enjoy some football, you know. But as far as this game goes, I think it's a great thing they're doing. I think it's good for both communities who will forever be tied together because of this tragedy. Incidentally, it's still to this day the uh, biggest, largest, however you want to say it, um, sports tragedy. So it's there's a lot of a lot of things about the 1970 uh, Marshall plane crash that a lot of people are not familiar with and you can learn about it right there in the movie We Are Marshall. In fact, the freshmen that play college football can thank, if you want to say, can thank Marshall for the fact that they are able to play as freshmen. Don't know what I'm talking about? Watch the movie. You'll see what I'm talking about. Good luck to you, Chris, this year. And uh, appreciate you and your family. The Everharts are great people. Um, ETI, Everhart Transportation Incorporated, for those of you that aren't a frequent flyer here on BBD, uh, pardon the pun, that was totally insensitive of me. They are the primary sponsors here at uh, BBD TV. So thank you, Klein Everhart, for all you've done and continue to do uh, for my channel. You're great people. Go Vols. Y'all have a great weekend. Go Thundering Herd. And uh, big basketball game this weekend. Tennessee needs to go to Auburn and get a win. Y'all have a good one.